right, so this is going to be a yoga lattes workout. We are going to start with a little bit of yoga. Come to a comfortable seat wherever you're at. And just kind of roll your shoulders up and back a few times. Uh, and working out any kinks, so if you want, rolling your head and neck out as well. And you can close your eyes or just kind of soften your gaze. And we're just going to start with a little breath work, so a little bit of grounding. So. Take, um, start to lengthen your breath, taking nice deep inhales in through your nose. Long deep exhales out through your nose. With each breath, feel your body becoming a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more calm. Using this time right now to just really become present. So, Letting go of everything that's going on in that outside world. Um, just coming into that inner world. Taking a moment to remind yourself something you're grateful for, something positive before we start. Or and remind yourself of why you're here, a goal that you have. And then if your eyes are closed, you can slowly open up your eyes. With your next inhale, you're going to reach your arms all the way up. And we're just going to hold them up there, drawing the shoulders down and back. Blank, feel the size of your body lifting up, and kind of turn to face your right side, so your right knee, and you're going to take your hand to your knee, the other hand behind your back, looking over your shoulder for a seated twist. Stay here for two or three breaths, sitting up nice and tall, finding length. Exhale, looking over your shoulder. On that next inhale, reach out and up again, coming back through to the center, drawing. Shoulders down and back, finding length. Turn to face the other direction and then bring the opposite hand to the opposite knee. Over the other shoulder. Twist is really good for back. Fine, looking over that shoulder to get a little bit of a neck stretch. And then coming back through to the center, reaching the arms out and up again. You can bring the palms together this time and then just bring them down to the heart center. From here, we're going to take our hands from our knees, and we're just going to do a few circles, the big circles going around two or three times in one direction. It's kind of waking up. When you're ready, switching directions, maybe inhale. So always try to work with your breath. Inhale halfway through that circle. Inhale the other for the circle. One more in this direction, and then from here, we're going to come on to our hands and knees. So coming to a tabletop on your hands and knees. All right, so what I want you to do from here is take your hands, and we're going to stretch the wrist. So hands are either going to come out to the side, or if you can, that's are going to face back towards you. If that's not too much of a strain, to stretch out the wrist. And we're going to do a few rounds of cat-cow pose from here. So inhale, drop your belly, lift your tailbone up. And exhale to round. On your back. Rounding your shoulders to the chest. Add three more times. Moving at your own pace, your own breath, warming up your spine. Press at the same time. On your next cat pose, so the next time you round, I want you to go ahead and lift the knees up off of the mat, getting a little bit more into the core. And we'll do that one more time. Pose, just lift to hover the knees. Bring back down. And take your wrist and just face them forward again. Take our right leg back to the toe. Make sure you strong shoulders, hands under your And we're going to lift that back leg up and back. So we're going to do that about 10 times. 
someone's pulling a string at the back of your leg, so it's reaching back and out. At the leg, you're pointing the toe to really engage through the legs. Let's do about three more. Two. Hold it back there, and we're just gonna do little pulses for about 10. Reaching that leg back. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. You want to hold it back there. This time, flex the foot, bend your knee. All right? Take that opposite hand. So it's opposite hand, opposite foot. Reaching for that foot. Pass the foot into the hand. Keep the gaze down for more stability. And stretch the top of your leg and your hamstring. Rest. And then go ahead. Release. We'll sit back just for a quick child's pose. Bring the knees together, sitting back towards your heels. Stretch your arms forward. Good. And then we're going to make our way back up. I'm just going to turn to the other side so you can see me a little bit better. We're going to come down onto the forearms. You can grab your uh, grab your wrist, draw the shoulders apart. We're going to bend that right knee. So same leg. And then you're going to bring the knees back in line. And then bend it, lifting up. Keep that foot flexible the whole time. In your glute. We're going to do about 10 of these. We'll be with your breath, really exhaling on the way up, inhaling on the way down. We'll do four more. Three, two, last one. Keep that knee bent up there, and then we're going to extend it. So we're doing two, bend, extend, reach it straight back. Good job. Press that foot, really find length. Draw those shoulders apart, lift up through the core. We have about five more. Three. Two, we're not done yet. Keep that knee bent, and we're going to pulse the foot up towards the sky, towards the ceiling. About ten of these. Really working that glute. It should be on fire now. We've got five more. Three. And we're going to sit back. Just a quick challenge pose again. We still have a little more work to do on that side. You're going to come back. This time, take your right hand. You're going to lift it up so you have a little bit more space. Same foot. We're going to lift the knee up. Bring it back down. You turn so you can see better. So just lift it up so it's in line with the hip. Bring it back down. So we're working our hips a bit more here. We're doing about 10 of these. Lifting it straight up. Bringing it. So you're moving with your breath, inhaling halfway through the move, exhaling the other half. We'll do four more. Three, two, last one. Hold it up there. This time, straighten the leg. We're just going to hold it. So I just want you to hold it here. Right? Five. Four. Keep that leg up nice and high. Three, two, bring it forward. One. Okay, release. Sit back to a child pose, take your knees apart, reach forward. This time, go ahead and walk your hands a little bit to the right, hips come a little bit to the left. Child's pose twist. Let's get ready to do the same thing on the other side. Now, to a tabletop, drawing the shoulders apart, look up to the corner. Opposite leg goes back this time. Point the toe, lift it up and back. Down. Hit the toe. Imagine that one is reaching through that other side of that foot. Hit back and out. Totally engaged. Eight. We'll do five more. And from here, we're going to pulse it. So I'm pulsing it straight back. Just little pulses for 10. Eight, seven. Four. One, hold it back there. Flex the foot. Other arm is going to reach back, reaching for that foot. Even if it can't get it, if you can, you're going to press the foot into the hand. Open up the quad. Try to hold it here for a few breaths.
Good, and then you can go ahead and release. We'll take that for a quick child's pose. All right, same leg this time. You're coming down to um, forearms. Going to flex the foot, bringing it straight up to the ceiling. The bent knee comes down, back up. And drawing the shoulders apart, lifting up through the core. And about 10 or so of these. Back foot flex this time. More. Four. All right, we're going to hold it up there, extend the leg, crossing the back, and then flex. Bend, extend. Chain it up there as you bend, flexing that foot, reaching it back. Inhale, exhale. Four, two, keep that knee bent. We're going to pulse it up towards the sky, up towards the ceiling. Nine, full movement, seven, six, five, three, glutes on fire, one, release, sit back, just pause here in a child pose for a few breaths. Not done. All right, so from here, you're going to come down to that right forearm, left hand's going to come up, and we're going to work the left side. Coming up, back, and you want that knee to come. Right up in line with the hip. You point the toe, good. Maybe that's kind of these here. Four, five, three, two, last one, hold it up there. That knee out long, straighten the leg. Foot forward, point the toe. Up nice and high. Five, four, and good. Lift it back into a child's pose, taking the knees apart, sitting back all the way to the heels. Push your arms forward. Okay, this time, and walk over to the left side, sitting back towards the right. Here we're going to come back to that hover, that hover position. So on your forearms, draw the shoulder blades apart. This time, take your hands straight in front of you. Run out your fingers so you have a kind of a grip in your palms. We're coming to dolphin pose. Draw the shoulders away from your ear. Tuck your toes, straighten your legs, and you're going to walk, walk, walk your feet in. Relax the head and neck, chins towards your chest. Mostly the strength for the pose comes in the shoulders, a little bit of hamstring flexibility. Uh, maybe from here, coming forward onto the toes, back to the heels. We'll do that five times. Four, three, just tilting forward and back. Two, one, you can drop down to your knees. This time, child's pose with your hands, you palms up to release the shoulders, forehead down. And then from here, make your way into a downward facing dog. Do uh, some yoga floats. Spreading out the hands, at your wrist, tucking your toes, the hips, and back. Just kind of stretch it out here in the first downward dog. Put your feet. Pressing that head and neck, chins towards your chest, looking your it's or maybe even up towards your belly button. You bend both knees or come up onto the toes, just stretching it out. A low vinyasa, so we're going to roll forward to a plank. You draw your shoulders apart. Or plank. Either stay in a plank as we lower down, or you can come onto the knees. We're going to lower down to Chaturanga, the elbows, hug your ribs all the way to your stomach, coming to a cobra pose, drawing the shoulders back. And neck and chest, look up. Exhale. 
down, coming back into a downward facing dog. So make your way back and maybe hand the knees first or a reverse push up. Coming back to your breath. Your breath. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Bend the knees, look towards your hands, walk or step your feet to your hands. We're going to come to a rag off forward fold. Deep bend of the knees, maybe grabbing the elbows, swaying a little bit side to side. Lifting up through the hips. And that nice stretch in the back of the legs. From here, we'll come to a half lift. So draw your shoulders back. Take your hands to your knees, coming up halfway. A full forward, deeper. So deeper forward, fold my throw up the knees. Inhale, either reach your arms forward or out to the side. To come all the way up. Mountain pose. And through the spine. Hold it here for a breath or two. Very good. And then bring them down to your heart center. Here we're going to go through a sun salutation A. So step it towards the front of your mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge from your hips, fold forward. With your breath, inhale, half lift. Help bend your knees tonight. Your hands coming to a plank. So holding this plank or dropping the knee down as you lower down, but come all the way to your stomach. This time we're going to come into locust pose. Bring your hand behind you. Lift up your head, your toss the tops of your feet. We're going to hold it here for a few breaths. Three deep breaths. Go back bend. But on your next inhale, come back down. Make your way into downward facing dog again. Lean back in. Stretching it out. Lean back to your breath. Here, bend your knees, look up to your hands, walk step, or maybe you try to hop this one, feet and hands, lift, inhale, exhale, fold forward deeper, inhale, make your way all the way up. This time we're going to add a side stretch. Come up, interlace your hands. We're going to stretch up and over to your right side. The so hips come forward, your arms reach, 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 oblique stretch, keep breathing. Up through to the center, over to the other side. You can go a little bit further. Itching. Up through to the center. This time I want you to go back. So bring the hips forward, looking up, maybe looking back a little bit, a little bit of a back bend. Slowly take your time. Forward, bring your hands to heart center. Here, we're going to go through another sun salutation A. So inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward, hinging from your hips. Lift, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands, making your way to a plank. Lowering down, and maybe this time you come to an upward facing dog. Cobra. Find your shoulders back, looking up. Coming into downward facing dog. Three legged down dog. So reach that right leg up. Good. That nice and high stretch it out. We're going to do a little bit of work. Here, exhale, come forward on the left toe, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, reach it up and back, taking your time. This time to the center. Exhale, come forward, knee towards the nose, rounding your back. Inhale, reach up. This time we're going to twist. Right knee to left elbow, keeping it up high, and then that foot through. Come to side plank variation. So that foot from underneath the, and then we're gonna open up. Good. Reaching that left arm, the top arm up, holding it here. You can bring your hand back down, that leg back up. And then come back into a regular downward facing dog. And we'll get ready to do the same thing on the other side. So spreading up the fingers. Lift the left leg up and back. Three-legged down dog. Left leg. Just stretching it out to start with. 
We're gonna come forward on the right toe, left knee to left elbow, keeping it up high. Inhale, reach it back. Lengthen, three-legged down dog. Exhale, come forward, knee to nose. Inhale, reach it up. Lengthen this time, twist. Knee to opposite elbow. Bring that foot through. Come back. I plank variation. Breaths here. And then you can bring the top hand back down. Lift that leg up. Three-legged down dog again. Stretch it out. Coming back to a regular down dog. Good job. From here, we're going to take that right foot. Come back to a three-legged down dog. One more time. This time, bend the knee. Open up the hip. Stretch it out. The hips. Flexing that right foot. We're going to bring that right knee, knee in. High or chest right foot through. We're setting up for a low lunge here. That back knee down and back. Just pause here. Runner stretch. Good. Checking the knees over the ankles. Back knees back. Out of the shoulders back. We'll lengthen through our spine. Our shoulders back again. Reach the arms up. And then we're going to come to cactus arms, opening up the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades together in the back. Breath. And we'll bring our hands back down. And lift the back knee up, setting up for warrior one. Back heel down. So check your front heels about in the middle of that back foot. When you're ready, we'll make our way up to warrior one. Hips square to the front, throwing the shoulders back. Good. So maybe straighten that front leg and then work towards getting a nice bend in that front knee. The knee over the ankle. And the right hip back, left forward. Here, take your hands, interlace them behind the back. Shoulders down and back. I haven't done humble warrior. The heart starts to hinge forward so your chest is inside the knee. There, you're going to let your back hand, arms release, letting the arms come up or relax your head and neck, chins towards your chest. Here for a few breaths. Bring your hands to your lower back, release, and bringing them to either side of your foot. Back, go up. We're just going to step back to a downward facing dog. So just coming back to that downward facing dog, paddling out once or twice. And then we're gonna do three-legged down dog other side. So bring that left leg up, bend at the knee, open up the hip, flex that back foot, stretch it out. Deep breath. From here, come forward on that right toe, left knee, high of the chest, left foot through between the hands. And then we're going to send that back knee down and back. Here, on the shoulders back, just feeling that in the hip, underneath the leg. We'll make our way up. So that knee's finding your balance, finding length in your spine. And then you can raise the arms up. Good. We'll come into the cactus arms, so, so opening up the chest. So this is really good for us. A lot of times, hunching over our phones, our computers, helps counteract hunching. And from here, you can bring our hands down. We're setting up for warrior one. Lift that back knee up. In the back, heel down. Check the front heel in the middle of the back foot. Square to the front. You can start with the hands on that knee and then reach up. Maybe straightening that front knee a little bit and then sinking a little bit deeper. So the knees over the ankle. Relaxing the shoulders down and back. Good. Interlace your hands behind your butt. The shoulders down and back again. Leading with your chest, we're going to start to come forward. Chest is inside that knee. Allow the head and neck to relax. Maybe allow the arms release coming up. The warrior.
And then you can bring your hands to your lower back and then one hand on either side of the foot, lift your heel up. And step back to a downward facing dog again, just one or two breaths. And we're going to walk our feet through to the center, crossing at the ankles, coming to a seat. We're going to set up for butterfly pose. So, heels in towards you, feet together, draw the shoulders back. Your knees to relax out to the side. Start out by keeping your back straight forward from your hips, length in your spine, and keep hinging from your hips. Back to your breath. Inhale and exhale through the nose. Stay here, or you can round your back. So round your lower back, round your shoulders. Maybe bringing the hands down a little bit. A little bit lower for a few more breaths. Nice stretch on the inner legs, a little bit in the outer hips, your back. You can walk your hands back and back up. Here, we're just going to bend our knees in front of us. We're going to do um, a push up. So take your hands behind your back. Here's facing you. Elbows are going to bend straight back. Straighten the arms, knees in towards you. We're going to do the first one slow. We're going to bend the elbows straight back. Legs and come in. Inhale. And we're doing 10 of these. Exhale, come in. So let's go for nine more, a little bit faster. Eight. Go through the toes, keeping the knees glued together. Elbows moving straight back. Five more. Three. Two. And just hug your knees in to your chest. Just here. We're going to do one more round of ten. So go ahead and set yourself up. Hands behind your back, fingers. You raise the knees in. Straighten your legs, bend elbows. Come up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come up for ten. Five. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, good. Just hug your knees into your chest here. All right. From here, just bring your feet in front of you. Just going to do seated forward fold. So inhale, reach up, flex your feet, and then exhale, hinge from your hips. Reach, reach, reach. Hard, and then let your hands relax wherever they are. Five deep breaths here. Do your yoga breath. Good, and then from here, you can come all the way up. We're going to do a reverse plank. So you're going to point your toes, hands come behind you, elbows straight back, just like we said up before. This time, lift the hips up. Or so the top of the toes, you want to press them down to the mat, if possible. If it feels okay, allow your head to drop back, your throat to open. Keep those hips up high. Deep breaths. And we're going to sit back down. Step back up for the forward fold. Trying length through your spine, flexing the feet. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge forward. Reach, reach, reach. Coming to the fold here. And if you can go a little bit further than last time. All right, we're going to do that reverse plank again. This time, maybe just try to lift one leg up, then the other. Just try to hold it. It's super challenging. So taking the hands behind you, elbows straight back, point the toes, lift up, press the feet down towards the mat. Maybe lift one leg straight up, bring it down. Maybe the other. Maybe you just hold it here. 
but go ahead and lower down. So from here, you can hug your knees to your chest. Take a quick drink of water. Pause here. We're going to do a few roll down. So we're going to do five. We're, we're going to kind of um, increase it each time as time as we go. So we'll start out with the knees bent. Reach your hands. I mean, we're going to do a half roll down. So inhale through your spine. Exhale, round your back, tuck your tailbone, lower down just about halfway. Pause here for three, two, and come back up. Inhale, find length. Reach the arms up. This time we're going to go down again. Same thing, about halfway. Your tailbone, roll down. Maybe staying at the same spot. Maybe lower for three, two, one. Good. Come all the way up. Reach the arms up, length through the spine. This time we're going to go lower, so it's just the shoulders down. Exhale, tuck the tailbone or down. Shoulders up off the mat. Hold it here for three, two, one. Lift up and go through your spine. This time, if you want options to straighten the legs, we have two more. Now lengthen, exhale, tuck your tailbone, roll down. Okay, nice and slow. You want to keep your shoulders up this time. We're not going all the way down. We're holding it here for three. One, and then make your way back up. All right. This is our last one. Tuck your tailbone. Down, we're holding it. Up off the mat, hold it here for three, one, and then reach your arms overhead. Go ahead and lie down. Okay, breather here. Reach your arms up overhead, point your toes. All right, from here, you can bend your knees. We're going to set up for some bridge work. Work heels in towards you, feet about hips distance apart. Press your palms into the mat. We're going to lift our and then lower down just to hover. Lower, going at your own pace. So between 10 and 15 of these, bring up your glutes. Lifting your chin up and away from your chest. Bring your glutes a little bit at the top. Do about five more. more two last one hold it up here and we're just going to march so that knee up over the hip and that foot back down keeping the hips up high left side knee over the hip foot back down we're alternating legs right we'll do it just doing about 10 so it's only on each side thing moving is the legs trying to keep the hips up high Let's do five more. I'll go for five. Setting that foot right back in place where it started. Two. Last one. Keep the hips up there and we're going to pulse it. So just little hips raise and lower for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Seven. One lower back down, feet out wide, windshield wiper the knees side to side, bring both knees to one side and to the other. All right, so we're going to make our way back into that bridge, feet hips distance apart, heels in towards you, lift your hips up, come up onto your tip toes, tippy toes, and drop the heels down. And we're going to do that between 10 and 15 times, this time strengthening our calves. Keep the hips up nice and high. Up nice and high on the toes. Do four more. And hold that bridge. You can drop the heels down. We're going to come to a one-legged bridge. So take that right knee. You can either keep it straight or if it feels like to have a little bend, a little bend in that knee. 
Come onto the tiptoe of the other side, and we're gonna pulse it here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, good, five, three, drop the heel down, bend that right leg, come to the other side, so keeping the hips up high, opposite leg comes up, maybe you keep that knee bent, or you can strain it, point the toe, Come up onto the tiptoe and we're gonna pulse it here. One legged like bridge. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. One, drop the heel down, bring that foot back down, lower down. And let's feet out wide. We'll drop the knee side to side to release the lower back again. More bridge. This time it's going to be more yoga style. So but just hold your bridge pose. Coming up and releasing the hands, holding it here. Or if you have um, good black back flexibility or you want to challenge yourself, you can come to a pull back bend, full wheel pose. Whatever one you feel like doing, back bends on your hands. And, or just a regular bridge pose and release your hands behind your back, keeping the hips up high, step away from the chest. Coming back to your breath, holding it here. And slowly lowering down your upper back, middle back, lower back. Good. Here, hug your knee then towards your chest, and then just maybe rock side to side or do a few circles. I'm just going to stretch out the glutes and the hips a little, so we'll come to a figure four stretch. Your right ankle above the knee. See your hand. Okay. I want to energetically press that right knee back, feel the stretch on the outside of the right hip. Get deeper, taking your hand above that left knee, but keeping your head relaxed down. Coming back to your breath. Bring your ankles out a few times. Mm -hmm. One more deep breath here. Release your hands. You're going to cross your knees, kind of like cross-legged. Bring those knees in towards you, and you're going to drop both knees over to the left. So whatever knees on top, drop both knees over towards the other side for a twist. Relaxing that hand on the knee, other hand out long. And then coming back up through to the center, uncross your leg, switch sides. So figure four stretch on the other side. Bring that foot up, interlacing your hands maybe behind the thigh or on top of the knee. Not rolling the ankles out a few times again, directly pressing that knee back. Nice stretch on the outside of the hip and glute. Back to your breath. You can cross the left knee over the right, so like you're sitting cross legged, but you're lying down. Knees up to you, and then drop both knees over towards the other side with cross. The arm comes out long, maybe looking up, or you can look in the opposite direction of your knees.
Make your way back up through to the center. And you're going to make your way onto your side. So it doesn't matter which side. Okay. Onto our side with our forearm down. All right, and we're going to set up for some kind of side plank variation. So your forearms down, your elbows under your shoulder. Your knee is going to be bent, and your knees are kind of in line. So from here, you can take your top hand to your hip, and we're going to lift the hip up. So arm up, and we're only going five times. You're just going to pulse that hip up and down. So we'll start from now for five, three. Keep that hip up. We're going to add a little twist just for five. The arm through, reach up for five. Two, one, good, and come down. We're just going to pause here. We're going to set up for a side plank hold. So option to hold it on your forearms with the knee down, or you can stagger your feet, or option to come up onto the hands with the feet staggered, bottom knee down. We're going to hold it, whichever option you choose. So whenever you're ready, let's go ahead and make our way into it. Staggered allows a little bit more for balance. If you want more of a challenge, you could try to stack the feet. Let's hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Make your way down. We're going to come on to our stomachs from here. Just come to a sphinx pose that way. Pose underneath your shoulders. Draw the Shoulders away from your ears, and just like a nice, gentle lower back stretch, lifting your head up, relaxing the feet. In here for a few breaths. If you want to get deeper, always an option to strain arms to come into more of a seal pulse, whichever one is better for your body right now. All right, so next move is a Pilates move called swimming. So you're going to reach your arms in front of you. How long? We're start, going to start out slow, but it's going to go opposite foot, opposite leg, but you're basically not really thinking about it. This does it natural. We're going to speed it up. We're going to go for 30 seconds. And neck in line, so you're looking down at the mat in front of you. Keep moving, keep breathing. Halfway there. We'll go for 10. It keeps swimming. Seven. Four, three. One. Just relax. Bring your forehead down on your hands, your forearms. We'll just relax on our belly for a few breaths. All right, and now we're going to set up for the side planks on the other side. So I'm going to kind of turn so that I can face you guys. So whatever side you were doing before, switch sides. So coming onto your forearm, elbow, under shoulder, bottom knees bent. Your knees are in line. The top toe is pointed. Right, so once you're set up, lift the hips up. And stay to your hip, your arms reaching up. Start to pulse. So get yourself set up. And then we'll go for five, four, one and up, three, two, one. Add that twist, bring that top arm through underneath the armpit, reach it up. Only five. Same thing for five times. Four, three, two, and we're going to pause here. Okay. If you want for your side plank, so on your hands down here. Either a feet stagger, top leg forward. I'm going to come up on my hand whenever you're ready. Make your way up. Under your shoulder. Reach that top arm up and hold it. <laughs> hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Come back down. We're coming back to our stomach. Coming back to our space or seal pose. Choice. Down here, nice gentle back touch. 
a bit deeper back to straightening the arms, hands out wider. And from here, we're going to do the swimming for time, 30 seconds. So reach your arms out in front of you, arm opposite leg. Okay, we're going to start from here. Head and neck in line, keep moving, breathing. Finger outside, slowly in the water. Halfway there. Okay, add more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Just the belly shavasana for a few breaths. And then from here, you can come onto your back. Make your way all the way onto your back. Finish on our back. We're going to do a few um, ab core specific exercise. And then stretch it out and little shavasana. All right. So we're going to stay bent. Take your hands behind your head, elbows out wide. We're going to do four different exercises, but only five sets. Very nice and slow. Inhale. Exhale, lift up, head, neck, and chest, shoulders off the mat for three, two, one, lower down, four more. Help, help, come up, hold it here. Three, two, one, inhale, lower down. Exhale, come up, hold it high. Feel the inner up shape for three, one, only two more. So make your way up here for three. One last one. Inhale. Exhale up. Pull for three. All right, we have five of the next exercise. It's the same thing. This time our knees are at a tabletop. So kind of a little add-on option. Knees over hip. Inhale. So lift up. Elbows out wide for three. One. Lower down. Inhale. Exhale. Come up. Lift up for three. One, inhale down, exhale up. Raise the shake, only two more. Inhale, exhale. One last one like this. Hold it for three. One, okay, this time we're going to add a twist. Knees and feet stay the same. This time, twist towards one side and hold it. Three, two, Come back through to the center, twist to the other side for three, two. And we're doing six of these, so we do three on each side. You want to even it out, five going to be even. The other side, hold it up, really twist to the center. One more on each side, this time shoulders up, elbows on one, really twist. One more time on the other side. On your way up. Great. Last set of core exercises. Feet stay the same. We're going to come up, twist, hold it, and you're just going to tap that toe down and up. So whatever side you're facing, everything stays the same, just the leg is tapping. Five, four, two, one. This is our last exercise. Twist, other side. Tap that toe down, really twist. And we'll do five more. Three, two, and one. Release, hug the knees in towards your chest. And we're going to come to a lying down butterfly stretch. Feet towards each other. Allow the knees to come out to the side, maybe palms up. In here for a few breaths, just letting the knees relax. We're going to um, do one more set of core exercises. We're going to do the same core exercises we just did, except this time we're going to move a little bit faster. So instead of holding it for one breath on the way up, or three breaths on the way up, we're going to hold it for one on the way up. 
All right, start out just basic crunches, knees bent, heels and towards your elbows out wide. Inhale, down left. Inhale, down low, only doing five. And exhale, lift up. Inhale, exhale. Two more. One more. We're going to do five more this time. Knees over, hips at a table top for five. Up nice and high. Feel that shake in inner core. Four. Two. One. All right. We're going to twist side to side. So we'll get to your right. Lift your shoulder up for five. Two. One, we're going to hold it over to the other side. That toe down and up. Moving us the toe for five. Three. One, last set. Back over to the other side. Twist shoulders up. Start tapping that toe for five. Three. Two. One. Release. Hug the knees in towards your chest. We're going to come into a happy baby pose. So taking the outside of your ankles or the outside of your feet, knees out wide, and then maybe rock side to side a few times. That's nice stretch on the side of your hips, your legs. Maybe pressing that tailbone down all the way onto the mat, lifting it up a little bit. Play with your happy baby. Bending one knee in, straightening the other. Switching side. Three. Two. One. We're going to bring our feet in towards each other, coming back, um, lying down, butterfly stretch. Trying to allow those knees to reach your legs to the side. Their palms out to the side, or you can bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your chest, and just kind of notice the rise and fall of uh, like in your chest as you're in and out. for your shavasana to either stay here, you know, butterfly stretch, or if you prefer, you can in the legs, allow the feet to open up out to the side. You keep your hands where they are, one on the belly, one on the chest, or they can just also come out to the side. And giving yourself this little bit of time to just allow yourself to release a little bit deeper into your mat. Put that back leg flat. Do a normal breath, not trying to control it in any way. From here, go ahead and take a nice deep inhale and through your nose. We exhale up through your mouth. More time. Inhale. 
Breathe, exhale. Start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, rolling out your ankles, rolling out your wrists, just starting to reawaken your body. Bending your knees, reach your arms up overhead, taking your time to roll onto your side. Pause in there for a breath or two. And then whenever you're ready, making your way all the way up to a seat. Great. And then from here, we'll just bring our hands to our front corner. A more deep inhale, reaching our arms up and up. Pressing the palms together, bringing our hands back down. And just from here, take a moment to feel a sense of just gratitude for our practice, for our health. And allowing the positive energy that we have to be a benefit to ourselves and to the people around us evening and throughout the day. Nice. Thanks very much.